Today on Riffs, Beards, and Gear, I tell you about my slightly unusual Gibson Les Paul Custom. So it's been no secret, for the last few years, I have been casually looking for a genuine Gibson Les Paul Custom. Really wasn't sure the year and the exact make of it, but I knew it when I would see it. And something I knew I didn't want was a brand, brand shiny new guitar. I didn't want to just go and get a, you know, 2021 Gibson Les Paul Custom. I don't want something shiny. I want something that's either old and or has been played a lot because I am suspect of old guitars that are literally like in mint condition because that tells me either whoever, whoever bought them immediately didn't like it and ergo didn't use it or it doesn't sound very good. Now, that may be silly, but in my experience, there is an air of truth to that line of thinking. I wanted a Gibson Les Paul Custom, not too picky about the color. I have an Alpine White Bernie Les Paul Custom, but that didn't really scratch the itch because the fret size is different. The body thickness is like over two inches thick. It's, it's just a beastly guitar. I wanted a real Les Paul Custom. It's kind of a bucket list guitar for me. Last week, I came upon a listing for what purported to be a 2002 Gibson Les Paul Custom, a black beauty. And it looked like this. It was this guitar. And I thought I was purchasing a 2002 black beauty. That's what I thought I've got. Now, you can never really tell. The pictures weren't that great. I did talk to the seller. I messaged him. He happens to watch the channel. Um, I asked a few more questions about the neck, the frets. It's, you know, it's overall history with him. And I felt good about my purchase. So I hit that purchase trigger. I made him an offer. He accepted it. I got a great deal on the guitar because this particular guitar has been toured quite a bit. Um, the finish is you know the gloss is wearing off and it's kind of uh i don't know it's kind of turning into like a set there's lots of pick scrapes and it's you know it's awesome it's very very played but not abused and that's exactly what i was looking for So in my excitement with getting this guitar, I posted a picture on Instagram and the first comments were, Hey, is that a Rosewood fretboard? I felt so stupid. Yeah, it sure is. I didn't even notice or think twice that it was a Rosewood fingerboard. Having never owned an actual Les Paul custom, these are normally ebony boards. I thought, Oh no, I have literally purchased a Chipson, not the Instagram account, like an actual fake Gibson. What have I done? Now for about 30 minutes, I thought I had purchased a fake, which didn't really make sense in my mind because fakes weren't this good in 2002 for one. And second, there are genuine, this is Gibson hardware. Um, I pulled the pickups, they're real Gibson pickups, they're real Gibson pots in the back. It just didn't add up. And also the serial number, Gibson Custom Shop serial numbers get a little weird uh, sometimes. But in this particular range, I kept seeing five digit serial numbers where this is a six digit serial number with CS at the front, meaning Custom Shop. I thought, man, that is so weird. I took off the back cavity while looking at the pots and I noticed in the correct light, this guitar doesn't look black. There's like a purplish thing going on. And I thought, what the hell?
So I grabbed my flashlight and what looks to be a black Les Paul is actually, I don't know if you guys can see this. This is not a black Les Paul. This is a brown Les Paul with a rosewood fingerboard. I, uh huh? So after doing, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes of internet sleuthing and just Googling brown Les Paul custom rosewood fingerboard, I came across the Maduro Les Paul Custom Series, which was only made for one year in 2012. Now the Maduro Series was basically an experiment. There were two different kinds of guitars made from the Gibson Custom Shop. One was an Alpine White with a maple board, and another one was this guy, which was a Maduro Brown finish, which is the color of a tobacco leaf or a wrapping of a cigar or something like that, I can't remember. But it also had a rosewood fingerboard. The idea was to try and make a guitar without using the increasingly hard to find ebony for the fretboard. And that's what I have. This is a 2012 Maduro Gibson Les Paul Custom. Now I know what you're thinking, uh, you should return that guitar and you should uh, ask for your money back. You know, you bought something you didn't know. Well, you know what? Well, all of that is true. However, you know, I contacted the seller. He had no idea either. He didn't even know this wasn't black. Cause when you look at this under normal light, it does look like a black guitar, kind of. But he toured with it for years and got it at a random guitar center while on the road. So it makes sense that he, why would he ever take a flashlight to the finish and make sure the black looking guitar is actually black? I mean, it adds up, it, it's all good. But the fact of the matter is, I love the guitar. It plays and sounds phenomenal and it is everything I would want in a Gibson Les Paul Custom. It, it is my dream Les Paul Custom. I am so happy with it, so I'm gonna keep it. So how does this story conclude? Well, you know, sometimes when you ask all the right questions before purchasing a guitar, you still may not get the truth because maybe the guy selling the guitar doesn't even know what he has. And that was the case here with my guitar. Um, these guitars originally sold for about $4,000 in 2012. They were only made for 2012. And uh, yeah, you can find a few of them that have already been sold. I think there's one on Reverb for like 3,700 bucks. I paid much, much less than that. I got a great deal on this guitar. I am super happy. It's all original. It could use some new tuners. The tuners are a little worn out from touring. But other than that, this is totally bone stock and I plan to leave it that way as well. Pretty cool. All the pickable links down below. You've been wonderful. I have been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. If you enjoyed the video that you just watched, please consider subscribing. It helps me help you and then in turn you get more stuff to watch. And also I have all sorts of stuff down in the description of this video. Sweetwater giveaway stuff. There's all sorts of links to all sorts of things. So consider uh, checking that out as well if you're gonna hang. But if you don't hang, all good. I still love you.